Despite it being a very down year for professional wrestling in general, I have presented seven feuds for Feud of the Year. Seven feuds that stood out among the rest. Seven feuds that kept both companies of WWE and TNA afloat. Well, let's not say afloat, but at least kept them a little bit more relevant. Seven feuds that will be remembered all time because of just how great they were. And without any further ado, let me present to you the seven nominees for the 101 Awards Feud of the Year. Number one, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. This feud started when Seth Rollins turned on the shield in June. Seth Rollins would then start a feud with Dean Ambrose that would last all the way until October. It involved Seth Rollins going over Dean Ambrose twice, first at SummerSlam in a Lumberjack match, the second at Hell in a Cell in a brutal Hell in a Cell match that, in my opinion, was a phenomenal match and deserved to main event Hell in a Cell. The second comes from TNA, MVP versus Bobby Roode. All started when MVP decided to switch everything that he said in the past and turn heel. Started when Bobby Roode switched everything that he's done in the past, turn on Dixie Carter, and turn face. This set up a phenomenal feud between these two that, in my opinion, was one of the only bright spots in an otherwise disappointing year for TNA. The third also comes from TNA. It is Gunner versus James Storm. These guys put together some brutal matches after they disbanded when they were a tag team. Another one of those lone shining stars in an otherwise disappointing year for TNA. The fourth comes from NXT, Cesaro versus Sami Zayn. And although this feud only lasted the first three months of, of 2014, it will be remembered for the phenomenal masterpieces that they put together at NXT. The fifth is Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt. Now this was a good feud. I kind of question why Ambrose didn't go over at least once. I know he went over a tribute to the troops, but no one's going to remember that. Everyone's going to remember the pay-per-views. So why didn't he go over once? Eh, we'll see, I guess. The sixth is Daniel Bryan versus The Authority. And again, this feud lasted from August of 2013 all the way until June of 2014. Almost a full year. This provided Daniel Bryan with two Match of the Year candidates at WrestleMania 30. The first being against Triple H and the second being against Randy Orton and Batista. And with him winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. And the seventh and last is John Cena versus The Authority. John Cena's team at Survivor Series defeated The Authority and sent them packing, at least for the time being. And without any further ado, you voted, and the votes have been tallied. And in a clean sweep, the winner for the 101 Awards Feud of the Year is Daniel Bryan versus The Authority. 